I'm going to put you in the hot seat now. Are you excited? Go for it. Go for it. <laughs> Socially distant hot seat. <laughs> yeah. Go for it. <laughs> okay. I've been when... there before, just so you know, on the hot seat. So I can oh, do I it again. I can imagine, eh? Yep. <laughs> okay. Uh, when is the Logie Street Park opening? Logie Street Park officially opens today. Um, probably by the time this is seen on TV, it'll right, have been exactly. open. But September 21st, it officially opens. Uh, it's an awesome park. Uh, we've, uh, the city spent a lot of money, you know, getting this park and sort of uh, the lilacs and, and changing it around and making it a very pedestrian friendly. Mm -hmm. There's there's dockage, there's walking areas, there's some amazing um, climbing structures and slides that you won't see in too many other parks across the province. Oh, perfect. Um, there's a skating oval uh, around uh, the water park uh, splash pad. Uh, they're not opening the splash pad for the year. Obviously, it's a little Come late, on, I but to go now. <laughs> we're, we're really hopeful that uh, the, the, you know, the ice surface, depending on the weather, will get it opened as soon as possible later in the fall or early in the winter. Mm -hmm. And a uh, nice new washroom building with, you know, with, with rooms, change rooms in there. So um, just a wonderful park for people to enjoy and a real sort of marquee entrance way, you know, coming in Lindsay Street mm -hmm. into Lindsay. Um, kind of what we envisioned we wanted to do. Uh, we're hoping to do it again up at Beach Park in Bob Cajun. Okay. Used to be the trailer park. And so now we're, we've, we've right. just approved that tender and that work's gonna get started very shortly this fall. And uh, the majority of it completed by summer season next year in 2021. So uh, we wanna do it again up there and uh, we're gonna have a couple of really nice park locations. So you have skating with the mayor. Skating with the mayor, walking yeah. with the mayor. Yeah, you're, you're seeming to think there's a bit of a draw here and I'm not so sure, but we'll see how it goes. Um, I think they're gonna be draws just to the community because they're just, they're really world-class parks and mm -hmm. uh, you know, it'll attract people to our community. And I think that's, that's kind of the goal of what we wanna do. So we're really, really excited about these two parks, the Logie and the Beach Park coming up next year. Very nice. Yeah. Well, we talked about libraries in the last segment, but libraries are open. Libraries are open. Uh, all branches are open for curbside pickup and the Lindsay and the Fenlon branch are now open to the public to go in and browse. And, you know, there are certain protocols mm -hmm. that have to be followed, but uh, they are open for people that want to actually go in physically and, you know, look around for books, uh, pick up books, drop off books and, uh, you know, follow the criteria that need to be followed. But uh, slowly but surely, we're again, slow and steady. We're bringing some of these services back online. Is City Hall open and or where can I pay my taxes? Well, do you really in a rush to pay your taxes? You can give it to me. Listen, I'm always on fire with that. Good for you. <laughs> Good for you. Um, City Hall is not open, uh, okay. but we are opening up our service center. We have the Cobaconk service center is open now. Uh, oh, Mimi's going to open shortly and we're going to have a location in Lindsay opened uh, in th this fall. Mm -hmm. We're just not quite sure how we're going to set it up in Lindsay yet because they're multi-use buildings. Mm -hmm. um, but people can pay taxes and pay their utilities. They can pay them online. They can pay them at the bank. Or they can mail in a check. You know, we have a drop box here at City Hall. So if you're not going to mail it and you want to just put it in the drop box, uh, we also have a buzzer here at City Hall. So you can buzz and somebody will come out and if you want to give it to them and they can drop it off at the tax office for you. So we're just you know, trying to keep the building closed for now because we're, we're still working on our capacity and what we can do as right, a city okay. without opening it up to the public, which changes the dynamic of what we do in here. Because I think some people might not understand that. They might be like, hey, lots of other things are open. I can go have a beer, that kind of thing. Yeah. Why isn't City Hall open? Yeah, and well, you can't have a beer here at City Hall, but uh, <laughs> you know, unfortunately, but uh, yeah, you're absolutely right. It's, it's people have asked that, why not? But we have a lot of people in this building if once the public comes in, we have to, uh, we've got a lot of criteria already set up in here, you know, mm -hmm. arrows on the carpet, as you noticed when yes. you came in, it's, you know, you have to mask, you have to sign in, you have to, you know, sanitize your hands, directional arrows, that's just for our staff. So if we open it up to the public, then it, people have access to the whole building and then mm -hmm. it just becomes a very different, uh, of what we're trying to, you know, what we're trying to accomplish to deliver our services. So eventually we'll get back there, uh, just not ready to get there right now. Um, Kawartha Farm Fest, what's going on with that? Uh, Farm Fest is going ahead in October. Um, right. It's uh, our, part of our big agritourism uh, package that we put together, very popular here in Kawartha Lakes. Uh, it's been going on for quite a while. I think it's the 18th year of Kawartha Farm, Fe Farm Fest, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Um, but this year they're doing it a little differently. You make appointments, you have to order your tickets online. It's a drive around. 
um, you know, follow different protocols when you get to different time slots so everybody's not showing up at the same mm -hmm. time. But still a wonderful opportunity for people to get out this fall and, you know, see what our local agriculture has to offer and get out in the community, have some fun, meet some, you know, meet some of our local farmers. Uh, it's been a very popular, well-received uh, thing that we've done every year and we're doing it a little differently this year but we think we can deliver a, an amazing product we've got some great people working on farm fest i'm really excited because it's my first one is it your first one it's my yeah first one, enjoy yes. it it's, yeah. it's it's a lot of fun it's it's amazing agricultural wise what we have in our community um you know just from a local product perspective uh everything but it's it's recognizing that agriculture is our number one economic driver mm -hmm. uh, you know, agriculture kind of quietly always does their thing, right? And we go to the grocery store and we get our food exactly. and we, we don't ever sort of, yeah, we don't ever sometimes think about where is it all coming from. And, you know, when it rains or we have a nice hot, dry summer, we think it's wonderful. Farmers, not so much, mm -hmm. you know, and, and when we we're getting all this rain, we're depressed because we can't go out in our boat or, you know, go out swimming. Uh, farmers are going, thank you, we needed the rain, right? So it's, it's, you know, it's a little bit different world, but recognizing that it's a huge part of what we do here in the Kawartha Lakes.